we're going to tie a fly today called the tranquilizer. This is a Mike Kennedy pattern. Uh, we're going to start by putting in, this is a size 4. You can tie them to whatever size you'd like. Um, traditional black up eye steelhead and salmon hook. I'm going to take some 8 off thread. We're just going to lay a little bit of a base. We're going to stop with our thread right at the point um, of, the, of the hook. The tail for this fly is just going to be some uh, yellow saddle, some yellow hackle fibers. And we're going to take those, just going to tear them off. And I find this a little bit easier if you just kind of wet your fingers and get them all clumped together so that they come right nice. Um, I want this tail to be just about to the back side of this hook so it's even with the bend. The back of the bend it is. And we're just going to lash down those fibers. And we want that tail to stick up just a little bit. Take our thread up to where that extended eye is. And we're going to tie in our ribbing material, which is a silver French tinsel. And I'm going to tie that in and I'm going to keep it on the bottom of the hook. And put that in our material clip. The body of this fly um, is easiest tied with chenille, um, but you can use wool yarn, you can use um, a, a spiky dubbing, it's really, it's really up to you, whatever you like in the, in the water. For our purposes today, we're going to use a black rayon chenille. And just like before, we're going to go ahead and keep that on the bottom of the hook. And take our thread back up. I'm going to leave about an eye to an eye and a half length um, in front of uh, back from the eye length of the hook. I'm going to take this and we're going to wrap pretty densely right next to each other all the way up the hook. And like I said, leaving about an eye to an eye and a half length behind. And we'll just wrap that off. We're going to take our scissors and this chenille, we're going to taper the body a little bit. This fly looks a lot better and uh, cleaner in the water if it's got a little bit of a tapered body to it. I'm going to start by just kind of tapering the back end so that it comes down. Then we're just going to take our scissor blades and cut the back half of this down into a taper. I like to leave the front half uh, the original length. This is a size medium chenille. You could do this with a small chenille or an uh, extra fine chenille and just layer it a little bit, but I think this looks a little bit cleaner and a little bit fuzzier. I like the look a little bit better. We'll make our little tapered body here. Then we're going to take our ribbing material And we're going to rib up the fly. Four, five, six wraps. Kind of your preference. And we're going to tie that off right behind the eye as well. With about an eye length. Go ahead and clip that off. Secure that butt end down. And then the uh, hackle on this fly is going to be red dyed guinea. We'll go ahead and strip off the fluff. You ideally want your hackle fibers to go to the point, maybe just a little bit past the point. And we're going to tie this feather in by the tip. So we'll go ahead and kind of prep this feather so that we tie in just the tip of this feather. I think it's a little cleaner on the head if you just kind of 
nip that into a point. And then we'll go ahead and tie that in by the tip. Make sure that you get some good tight wraps on there. Don't want that to pull out. And then we want this to fold backwards on the body. So I'm just going to take my scissor blades and just kind of comb those fibers back. You want to fold them all the way over, but we do want them to kind of fold back a little bit. And then sometimes this is just easier to handle. This is a pretty short stem, so I'll put a set of hackle pliers on the, on the stem and as we wrap this. We're just going to kind of fold back these hackle fibers as we wrap. Okay, so that they're all kind of facing backwards. Try to get one wrap right in front of the other, not to mat down any of the the other wraps or fibers. So they're all facing backwards. A couple wraps there on the front to get the stem down, a couple in front. Then we'll go ahead and trim out this stem. And we'll build ourselves just a little bit of a head. And kind of use your bodkin to make sure all those fibers aren't are free and not trapped. And we'll make just a little tapered head here. Go ahead and whip finish. Now you use some of that whip finish to complete the head. And the last step on this, we're going to take uh, some Clear Cure Goo Hydro. And I think it's a little easier if I just take a little bit and I put it on a container lid and use my bodkin to apply it. I'll just dip my bodkin in there. Just put a nice Nice even layer on these thread wraps. Add some durability to the fly as well as uh, gives it a little bit of that glossy head, which I like as a tire. So we'll just kind of work our way around a little bit here. It's a little more tedious than just using the, the dispenser, but I think it makes a little bit cleaner head. And we'll go ahead and hit it with the light. You can really see that UV, that red really glows in the UV light. And that is the tranquilizer flying.